Hi, this is Danette, and in this video, we will tackle about cell organelles and its function. We can say that cell organelles can be compared in things we see in our daily lives. For us to understand the cell organelles better, we will relate it to something everyone is familiar with, a city. And for this topic, I will use Townsville as the representation of the cell analogy. To begin with, this is the girl's house. This represents the nucleus. The nucleus controls cellular activities like growth, metabolism, protein synthesis, and reproduction. The same exact things that happens in the girl's house, as it is the place where they were created by the professor through an experiment. Next is the pokeox. This represents the nucleolus. Nucleolus is a suborganel of the nucleus that is composed of proteins and ribonucleic acids or RNA. In the city, the power puff girls are the protein. In pokeox, we can consider the lessons that the girls learn there as the RNA. The lessons and the girls together, or the protein and RNA, is therefore protein production. Then, the city hall. This represents the nuclear membrane in a cell. Nuclear membrane serves to separate the chromosomes from the rest of the cell. In this case, the chromosome is the mayor who is inside the city hall. The city hall serves to separate the mayor from the rest of the citizens in the city. The downtown is the mitochondrion. Mitochondrion is the site of cellular respiration and the production of ATP energy molecules, which is why it is called the powerhouse of the cell. The downtown serves the same purpose as it is where most of the activities and processes in the city happens, also carries energy in the whole city. Here is Ms. Bellum's house, which represents as the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum transports materials needed by the cell to function, and Ms. Bellum is in charge in disseminating information throughout the city. Thus, her house can be considered as the endoplasmic reticulum of the city. Next is the dump. This represents lysosomes as lysosomes destroys bacteria and other microorganisms that invade the cell which can be compared to the purpose of the dump as it is where rubbish and garbages are taken and destroyed within the city. And lastly, the malphas. This represents as the ribosomes. Ribosomes are involved in the production of proteins. Malphas is where the professor buys necessities for the girls which makes the malphas involved in protein synthesis.